free. This one's the WWE champions. Pay to win like every day, yeah. I don't play ball games. Funny how they still think I'm a broke man. Then I'm broke. Even though I be pulling Hogan. Me. I spent like 40 grand on a couple thousand pictures of some sweaty men. All right, and of course, my birthday marathon is coming up on Saturday, April 6th, and that's going to be a big variety of stuff. So the first topic today, let's tackle this idea that I had for my birthday marathon event. For those who don't know, when I do a marathon, instead of doing two different streams of two games, I just do one ongoing stream that starts usually at the same time in the morning, around 10.45 a.m. Pacific time, and will run all the way to like 8 p.m. or later. So it's a super long stream for me because usually my streams are nowhere near that long. Um... So here's what we're doing during that event so far. Number one, a gaming schedule update. We're gonna actually go through all the game release schedule for the rest of the year and get all those solid release dates and mark them on a calendar. And then we'll get an idea of what months will be busy and what months won't be so that we can kind of fill in the gaps of projects and things that we wanna do when there's time permitting. Because the thing is, there may be months when there's no time because there's so many new releases and there may be months with tons of free time and then we have the opportunity to say, hey, what about this game that I skipped and didn't get around to? Or what about this game that I started and never finished? Maybe we can bring those back. Maybe we could actually get Fightcade set up on my mini PC and get some classic fighting games going, correct? <clears throat> so all these possibilities. Um, and I'm excited for that, obviously. Uh, so let's see. Let's do that. That's a big thing that will get us geared for the rest of the year, okay? In addition, there's going to be food. I'm going to order a meal, eat it live here called Feasting with Phil. We have a good time with that little, I mean, you can call it whatever you want. You can call it a food vlog, you can call it a mukbang, you can call it whatever. But it's just a fun little thing that we do. And I talk with you guys while I eat and tell you about the food, but also answer questions and stuff like that. Um, my wife's going to be making me a birthday cake, so I'll be having a piece of cake at some point during the stream. <clears throat> and there'll be some booze involved because it's my birthday, so I'll probably be drinking a few things during that day. Now, another idea we had is a tier maker. And the idea that we had so far is to maybe rank Mario games, like take some of the big biggest Mario games of all time and just kind of rank them against each other to do that. Or if you guys have a better idea of a, a tier maker, I'm all ears. Typically the tier makers that have done the best, if you can believe it, are like about food. Like when I've ranked foods and stuff, people seem to like that. There was also when I ranked the best games of my career on YouTube, I've ranked my previous game of the year awards. People like that too. So if you have an idea what you think you want to do to rank, you know, rank something in a tier maker, we could do that. Now, I came up with another interesting idea. Randomly yesterday, I was going through my YouTube, uh, what do you call it? YouTube Studio app. And basically what this app is, it lets you do all your stuff on the go. I don't have to be at my PC. I can approve comments. I can check on video status. I can do all kinds of stuff with my channel. And just on a whim, I don't know what, what happened because I wasn't really thinking about it. I said, rank videos by views. Boom. 14 years of videos ranked by video views appear in front of me. And I'm looking at it, I'm like, this is fascinating. Because some of the videos that are my most viewed videos of all time on DSP Gaming make sense. Others are like, you wouldn't have thought that those videos would have gotten that many views, okay? <clears throat> and so, an idea popped into my head, okay? How about this? For my birthday bash, we do a very special birthday edition a retro react DSP watches and comments on his most viewed videos of all time and so what I'll do is I'll take my most viewed videos on all of my channels including DSP gaming dark side Phil my former vlogging channel as well which is now DSP reacts and my former KO gaming which is now DSP throwback and I put them all into like a playlist so I could have like the top 10 top 20 most viewed videos I've ever made on the internet and we can watch some of them. We don't have to watch all of them. We could just basically do it as we're having fun. So what is the most viewed video I've ever made on the internet? No. I think I know, but I could be wrong. So I will rank them. I'll put them into a personalized playlist, and we'll just hit play, and we'll watch number one, number two, number three, in order. And it could jump. It could jump all around the channels. Because in my tenure as a YouTuber, I've had a few videos that have hit a million views. Not a ton. But a few. I have a few videos that hit like multiple million views. And then I have a few videos that have like one million or very close to one million. And then I have videos that are like hundreds of thousands. You know, it trails off. So I think that would be pretty cool because it's something very different that I normally don't do. 
and it could be a special thing to do for the birthday event because it doesn't take away from anything else I'm doing. It won't take away from retro reacting to a playthrough on the DSP throwback channel. It won't take away from me doing my gameplay. You know, I'm doing it on a day that it doesn't really interfere with anything, right? Now, here's the thing. It's going to be a special series. I'll record that, and I'll release it as a special series of videos on DSP Throwback. So the Throwback channel will have some bonus content for the month of April uh, because we did it during the birthday event, right? <clears throat> I think that would be really cool, okay? So what do you guys think? Some people are reacting really well to it, and others are saying that's trash. But a lot of people are saying it sounds like a good idea. Like Pizza Box Gaming sounds like a fantastic idea, right? And now people are trying to actually guess, like, what's the most viewed video I've ever done? So I think it'll be interesting. Something different. And again, I'm reacting to my old gameplay style, my old commentary style, my old recording style, which has been fun as we've done it on the Throwback channel so far. People have really liked it. So I think that this would actually uh, do well. So anyway, that's another idea for my birthday event. You know, and again, keep in mind, other things we could do during the birthday event, if you want to see me return to Street Fighter VI for the first time in months and do some casual play, I'm down for that. Like, I would play some, you know, maybe Blanca, Honda, Zangief, Lily, and Dalsim. Just casual play. I wouldn't do ranked play because I'm so rusty. But I would do some casual play or something like that if that's what you want. It's up to you, you know? So, I, I, the, the thing is, I just want to have fun on my birthday. I don't want to have to be... One of these events where it's like, okay, so we have a schedule of eight things we need to do. Let's do them in this order. Boom, boom, boom. I don't like that as much. I like having a more relaxed event, especially if it's my birthday and I'm going to be drinking. So it doesn't have to be ultra serious, right? <laughs> okay. So there you have it. Again, any more ideas? We have a week and a half to figure this out. I hope you'll be here on my birthday, April 6th, for that fun marathon event. Okay? Excellent.